Hi guys, um, so I'm back, um, I'm in my new house um, and everything so far has been going great. Um, sorry I haven't been able to do any updates since 32 weeks, um, but we've obviously, you can imagine, moving house and trying to get everything sorted, it's been a bit of a struggle. Um, and we've just had a few complications the last couple of days recently, um, which I'll go into more in a minute. Um, so today I'm 35, exactly 35 weeks. And um, baby's fine. Um, and just very, very much looking forward to having him now. It's um, getting very uncomfortable. Um, symptoms... Um, my heartburn has um, kind of made a slow comeback, nothing in comparison to what it was before. Um, I'm coping actually just with um, Rennie tablets, so that's good. Um, I've actually as well been feeling sick again. Um, obviously I had the hyperamesis in the beginning of the pregnancy. Um, and I've been physically sick a couple of times, but the rest of the time it's just been feeling nauseous, um, which isn't nice. Um, but I have anti-sickness tablets, so they have been they have been a godsend. Um, and I really feel for people who don't have anything to, you know, to help with that because, you know, I really know how it feels to sit there and or lay there and just every moment of the day just feels like. You just want to curl up on <laughs> curl up and die, um, but on a positive note, um, it's my baby shower um, on Saturday, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, not so much because of the gifts and things like that, but because it's just another it's just another stepping stone, which is going to be closer to me giving birth, um, and I'm really excited. Um, you know, I have my bad days where I will moan to Matt and say, you know, I'm I'm sick and tired of being pregnant now, um, and I know that I'll I'll miss I'll miss it once he's here. Um, but um, I recently found out that um, in my maternity notes um, it says that he is now engaged in my pelvis. So he's head down, he's in the perfect position. Um, he's still, he hasn't moved since 23 weeks. Um, so he's being quite good in that respect. Um, I actually had an ultrasound scan yesterday, which I'll go into more in a bit. Um, and yesterday he was weigh he's weighing, five pounds and eight ounces, which they said is perfectly fine. And obviously they say you um, put on half, they put on half a pound a week. So they said by full term, he should be um, eight pounds-ish. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I was worried that I was gonna be having to give birth to a large baby, but you know, there are always, there's always the um, the uncertainty that you know the ultrasound scan is it's never accurate, so it could be you know more or less. But um, it's put my mind at rest a little. Um, the uh, the rest of the ultrasound scan was fine. Um, they said his belly is um, quite large, but um, they wasn't very worried about that. Um, and everything else seems to be fine. Um, okay, so I'll kind of go into why I was having to have an ultrasound scan. Um, it was, so what we're on today, we're on Thursday. So on Tuesday, I um, woke up. Um, I've been feeling quite emotional recently, so um, I think stress is getting to me a bit, um, and I shouldn't really let it, but I'm just a bit of a worrier, and obviously moving house, it's not been the most non-stressful of, um, 
of things to do this far into my pregnancy. Um, so I woke up, felt, you know, fine. Um, came into here, which is our living room. Um, bent down to get my laptop charger and as I stood back up, I felt a warm trickle of water running down my legs. And obviously, my first initial thought was, oh my God, I've peed myself. Um, Cause where he's, so, where he's engaged in my pelvis now, it's a lot of pressure on my bladder. And every, every time I move or walk, it feels as if I'm going to wet my pants. Um, which I'm sure some of the, some other reviews um can relate to that in uh, some respects, but no, I looked down and there was like a clear fluid running down my legs, so I was like, right. So I went into the bathroom and um it had soaked it had been enough um enough fluid uh to soak through my underwear. So I went, to, I was taking one of my legs out of my underwear when some more fell out and it was about, on the floor, all, all in all, on the floor, it was about the circle of my hand, of my palm of my hand. Um, so then by that point I was really freaking out. Um, and... So the f my first initial thought was right. Okay, don't panic. Just check to see, check to see what the fluid was. So um, first of all, I checked to see if it was actually urine, and it wasn't. It was a clear fluid. Um, didn't smell at all, um, and there was no, um, there was no like patches of blood or anything in it. So that was good, and that's what I checked for first. Um, so after that I thought okay, maybe I actually need to go to the toilet So I sat down and tried to go to the loo, but there wasn't anything there. So I was like, okay, right That's ruled that one out So I cleaned myself up um, And I wasn't leaking anymore. It wasn't a continuous leak. It was just those two small gushes Went back into my bedroom and laid on my bed and that's when I started getting um tightenings like twinges in my vagina and I was thinking because I've been having Braxton Hicks and they've been getting quite painful um so I thought it was just that uh so I was like okay fine um so I text Matt and said what had happened and he obviously freaked out um and said right call call your doctors straight away so I did um and fortunately on that day there was no midwife's um in surgery so they said call through to the labour ward so I got my maternity notes out and called the labour ward um, and I spoke to one of the midwives there and she took all my details and what had happened and she just said right okay um, your waters may have gone um, so you need to come in straight away and we need to assess you so um, when she said that I was freaking out um, I was crying I was like I'm not ready um, he's early, I mean, I know I'm 35 weeks today, um, so that means, I mean, they class full term as 37. Um, but I was still freaking out, this is my first baby, so I'm, you know, I'm not used to this. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, Matt left work, came and picked me up, and we drove to the hospital, where I had another tracing done of... Um, where they put the bands across your belly um, and that was fine I was having slight tightenings of my stomach um, but they think that's just the Braxton Hicks um, his um, heart rate was fine movements are fine um, my temperature was fine blood pressure that's all fine um, urine that was okay um, so I had to wait just to see the doctor let me tell you Oh my god, the NHS, they had me waiting seven hours just to see a doctor. I was sat there thinking the whole time, you know, is there something wrong? Am I waiting because, you know, it's something bad? Or am I being made to wait because, you know, everything else has been fine and there's not really much um, urgency? 
I didn't know. Um, but eventually a doctor did come in, only like the youngest doctor ever, male, and I was like, right, uncomfortable. So he came in, you know, asked me what had happened and blah, blah, blah. Um, and he was going through my notes and checking like previous histories and things like that. Um, and he said, right, we have to, um, I'm gonna fill your belly and fill that. Um, and that was, that was okay. And then he said, right, I need to get a speculum and have a look inside and see if it is actually your waters that have gone. Um, and he was like, right, just um, strip down to your, strip down naked and on your bottom half and just put a sheet over you and I'll come back in with a midwife. At this point, the doctor walked out and Matt was um, laughing, saying, you know, are you decent down there? And obviously, any, I'm not sure about other ladies, but I haven't, I haven't done it. Like, I, I usually keep myself tidy down there and it wasn't in the best of appearances and who was a young doctor, young male doctor, and I felt so self-conscious. I know, like, once you're pregnant, ev all the decency goes out the window, um, and I was gonna have it, you know, all ready for, you know, when I actually, before I go into labor, but, you know, this has come as such a shock, and I wasn't ready, and I was like, oh, dear Lord, quite embarrassing. So he comes back in with a midwife, with a massive light, um, so there's me with my legs akimbo, and, I was like, oh my god, like really embarrassed and um, which should have been the least of my worries at the time, but um, oh well. And uh, so yeah, he did that, which let me tell you, hurt like hell. I was in so much pain and I was thinking to myself, Jesus Christ, if this is what it feels like with just a speculum, just checking, what is labour going to feel like? And yeah but um so he checked inside and said that um was asking me questions about my discharge and things like that which um you know as far as i'm aware are fine um and he said right i don't think it's your waters that have broken i think it's something called the hind waters that have gone um and i'm still not 100 percent sure what the hind waters is but I think it's where, like a, it's like a small, a small pocket of um, fluid um, surrounding the membranes or something. Um, when that comes out, um, and that's what I lost. It, you know, it's not it's not common. Um, it doesn't happen to every single pregnant lady, but you know, it does happen. Um, so that's what happened to me. Um, so he said, yeah, everything seems fine, you know, all the rest of your vitals are fine, so we'll send you home. But what I'll do is I'll arrange for an emergency ultrasound scan just to make, just to check on the fluid levels surrounding the baby and make sure, you know, you haven't got any holes or leakages or anything like that. Um, and I was advised to wear a pad to check to make sure I wasn't leaking any, any more fluid. Um, so yeah, then we got to go home and then that was that. Um, so yeah, they checked, obviously yesterday I went for the scan and they checked the fluid level and that was all fine. So yeah, as far as I'm aware now, panic over. Um, they've just advised me that since this water's gone, um, it could, my actual waters could go at any time now. Um, obviously I know that 37 weeks is classed as full term and I should be preparing myself for labor anyway but you know 30 I'm not I wasn't even 30 I was 34 plus five weeks um I wasn't ready and it's kind of given me the kick up the bum that I needed just to get to be like right okay that was a close call this you know we need to get everything sorted now um so after the baby shower everything is in full baby mode getting everything ready um I've washed, well, I haven't, but my nan very kindly has um, taken all of my newborn and not to three baby clothes, washed, dried, ironed them. So I'm getting them back on Saturday. Um, and we'll also be fitting the car seat into the car, um, 
just in case and I will be doing my hospital bag and the baby bag as well um, I want to go through that with Matt um, just to you know go through it with him and I think we're just gonna go over we're just gonna have a conversation go over the birth plan because also my sister is um, gonna be one of my other birth partners um, I want to go over with you know with them both about you know the birth plan and you know if any if anything goes wrong or um you know i'm in too much pain you know you know so they know what i want and things like that um so just to get prepared really um i mean i will do another video on his nursery it's not finished yet um but i will show you around and you know what it's going to look like um hopefully so yeah that's panic over really um i don't really have much else to update on um my that my last i mean i have another another um, midwife appointment next week um i think next wednesday the 8th um but at my previous um appointment um my fundal height was 35 centimeters um, so I'm still two centimetres um, more advanced than my actual weeks. Um, but from from the scan, when they said that his estimated weight is five pounds, eight ounces, I'm not entirely worried now. You know, I've seen him, he's fine. Um, his legs are right up in my rib cage, right sitting right under my rib cage. So that's why I'm so uncomfortable. Um, and obviously all of you will know how uncomfortable it is now near the end now so yeah um sleeping is still touch wood fine um it's taken me obviously a little bit longer to get comfortable and things but i'm you know i'm still managing to sleep so that's good um and yeah i don't think there's many much anything else really about to do a belly shot really um our antenatal class, our first antenatal class is next Tuesday um, at the hospital where we're going to give birth at um, so that will be interesting um, so I'll obviously keep you all updated on what happens at them um, I wanted to ask actually um, do I have to take anything like do I need to take a pillow or uh, like pen and paper or anything like that because they didn't tell me over the phone when I arranged it and I'm not entirely sure because my midwife appointment is the day after the antenatal class so um, it's not as if I could phone her up and ask her either so if any of you have had classes before um, and know what you need to take um, then just let me know because it'd be very helpful um, yep yeah, so I hope everyone else is well and it's just so scary um, that you know we're so close. Well, obviously the other the other women that um, are around similar dates to me, um, we're all so close now. It's like five weeks. Well, potentially five weeks. You know, till my due date, and he could come before that. So it's um, it's very scary. And I'm just so excited to meet this little guy that I've been growing and feeling him move and kick and yeah so I'll stop rambling and I'll um, do a belly shot for you okay right okay see if I can get this <clears throat> all right Ooh, there's my belly Right, let's get this up here. Okay. This is my belly at 35 weeks. Stretch marks are getting, these ones are getting quite bad now. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very rounded now. <laughs> um. And yeah, so this is from the back. See if I can do it this way. If I 
step back. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. This at the front. This at the side. Okay, so hopefully you guys could see that. Um, yeah, so I will do, um, obviously now I'm back, I've got the internet back now. Um, I'll be doing obviously my regular, back to my regular updates. Um, I'll also be making a house tour, which a couple of my um, uh, YouTube mummies have requested, so I'll do that. Um, and also, um, I'm not sure whether to do a house tour and just do like a quick brief of this is his nursery and then do a separate a separate video for his nursery. Um I'm not entirely sure yet, but I probably I probably will. Um and then also I've got my baby shower video to do. Um Yeah, so hope everyone's well and sorry for the length of this video. Obviously it's been um it's been a while since I've done an update, so I just wanted to fill you guys in on what's been happening. Um, so yeah, I hope you're well, and I shall speak to you soon. Okay, bye guys.